This is a copy of Mega Man 6, and it is not working. We're going to try to get it working with something I call open cart surgery. I don't have a tech background, engineering degree, nothing like that, but I have been getting games working since the 90s with a pretty good success rate. 99% of the time it's just cleaning them, so we're going to start with that, but if we have to bust out the soldering iron, no problem busting out the soldering iron. If you've never soldered before in your life, don't worry about it, nothing to worry about. I say, even though it's a big old hot soldering iron, right? <laughs> you know, it's funny, the very first thing, I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is open it up. I'm going to just open it up here. The very first thing I soldered ever was a mod chip into my PS1. That was the first time I ever held a soldering iron. So it's like, you know what? I have to get it to work or it ain't gonna work. And it got, and it worked. Of course it worked. Immediately you can tell that it's broken on the inside there. Focus. And we're going to open it anyway, like so. So I'm hoping whatever made it broken is not the reason it's not working. Um, I did pop, I, I, I could show you, but I did pop it in just to see what it would look like. But you know, I just wanted to take it out anyway just to do that. So now, and then here is, well, not that you need to take my word for it, but that part there is broken. Unfortunately, that part there is also where the game is. So I'm just gonna leave it be and it'll still work without it. It just will, you know, has a chance of collecting more dust, I guess, if anything, but you know. In the game, oh boy, I may have found what's wrong with it and I may not be able to fix it. We're gonna try anyway, though. You see, that's what games are supposed to look like. The chip, nice, clean, and without cracks, like uh, like like that one there. Yeah, if you if you can get your ROMs uh, crack free, that that'd be a beautiful thing. Again, I don't know if that's the reason this isn't working, but we're gonna try it anyway. I have a one-up card somewhere. I just had it. It was just here. Here it is. If you need your one-up card, I'll even sign it for you. They are available on my Shopify. You can check out a link in the description below. These ones, however, are not mine. This was gifted to me at a convention. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'll just use this one instead today, just for fun. But I do have I do have one-up cards if you want to use yours. I think they work great. It's just more of a, more of a, what's the word? More of a reassurance. More of a, like if I get games at a convention, yards, I don't do much yard sailing anymore, but you know, conventions, trades, online, I want to take it through a one-up card every time anyway, just in case because you never know where it came from. And you also never know if it's been in someone else's garage for like 20 years. You know, they're like, oh yeah, it worked great last time I played it. Well, okay. This way I know I took it through a one-up card and I saw it working because you don't want to shove more junk into your own personal consoles here. So I'm gonna just try a one-up card first, just like this. And we can just pop it in like this. Come here, you. So you can see the game in there. It's just, it's just in there already. We turn it on, it looks like it's gonna work, and then it shows me that. And that's what it showed me last time too. So we'll try a Bright Boy just in case. I don't think it's gonna do it though. This is Bright Boy. It's a brass polisher, works better than Brasso in my opinion. Doesn't leave that weird white residue, but you still wanna clean off any form of residue, even if you can't see it, cause it's still there. A little bit, that's all I need. It's not a Q-tip's worth. Other people kind of slather it on there. I suppose you can. I just wanna do a little bit and let's see if that works. Again, I don't think it's gonna matter but at least we'll try this and say we did. And it's a TG ROM. I'm not sure what other games are TG ROMs. We could find out to do a board swap or something, but you can't really do a board swap when it's the CHR ROM or is it CHR RAM? If it's CHR RAM, you can replace it with another CHR RAM chip and maybe that would do it. But if it was CHR RAM, then maybe the game wouldn't work in the first place. I don't know, because we'll find out here in a second. Anyway, this is, again, like you saw how clean it was. And that's what the uh, Q-tip looks like now. Ugh. And again, with the one-up card, just to, I'm just gonna use a one-up card to clean it off and everything too. A lot of conventions coming your way. Um, in fact, as of filming this next weekend, August, is it 7th and 8th, 6th and 7th? It's like the second weekend of August. Uh, Utah Retro Game Expo in Layton, Utah, which is north of Salt Lake. Early September, you're talking about the Cleveland Gaming Expo or Cleveland Gaming Classic. I'll be there for the first time ever. Late September, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, always a great time. First weekend of October in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Gaming Expo, and then the second weekend of October is Syracuse Retro Game Con, love that one. And that's all I have so far. Let's pop this in just like this, see what happens. If you like the hat too, you can also get the hat on my shop. All right, here we go. Yeah, I didn't think so. TG ROM, TG ROM. Um, CXK, Mega Man 6. Uses CHR RAM. Can I replace the CHR RAM? Will that get it to work? Ooh, uh, let me find a donor. I'm sure I have a game. I, I've got to have a copy of Silent Service or something like that here. I bet it's right in this box. Let me look. Fortunately, I have a fat sack of used CIBs that somebody brought me. Not CIBs. 
circuit boards, not CIPs, that's somebody that the heat's getting to my head. Um, that somebody just like sent to me saying like, hey, I don't need these anymore, do whatever you want with them. And I just kind of used them for parts as needed. And fortunately, I did find a game that has a CHR RAM. It's a UN ROM. Not sure what it is though, let's find out together. Just so we know what we're sacrificing. UN ROM, what's it gonna be? Double dribble. Now, sorry to hear double dribble. As sorry as I am to hear it's double dribble, uh, I don't have a cart for it or anything, so it's not gonna be good just like this. I could put it in another cart and give it a custom label, I guess, but it's double dribble, so. For the good of the cause, double dribble, we are gonna remove this chip and put it onto this board, and it looks like they should, they should match up just fine. Oh, well, maybe not, hold on, hold on. Um, so we're gonna have to remove both of them. We're gonna remove this one, throw it away. This is CHR RAM, ain't gonna do us any good. Uh, but this one we wanna keep nice because we're going to put this one where this broken one, this cracked one is. Best we can do is try. I do have a desoldering gun that works wonderfully. I've had it for a long time. And um, if you need, like all the tools I use, including this like blue mat that you can't really see, um, I just, you know, they're, they're all linked to my uh, Amazon affiliate, whatever the hell that is. And this one is nice because you just kind of put it right where the pin is. It'll melt the solder. Makes it nice and clean. A nice, clean, unsolder job, just like that. Okay. And this one, with the UN ROM boards, it should just come right out, pretty much. It wants to, there we go. Perfect. Yay, cool. One down. And this Konami board, you can chuck it. I will have to remember to pick that up so I don't step on it. So, uh, this I'm going to keep handy and put it right there. This one, however, so this one here is Mega Man 6, and then this one we're going to uh, do the same thing. We're just going to remove it, and uh, we're going to replace that one with this one, and then we'll solder it into place. Okay. So this broken one probably won't come out as easily, and I have an EEPROM remover that I have no idea where it is because it's been a while since I've cleaned up my little workstation. I've been busy releasing games recently. Like Choo Choo Mimic, loose, finally available. The Kickstarter, completely funded, appreciate you. If you missed out on the Kickstarter, got it loose, I got a CIB, check out a link in the description below, of course. And even though the boxes are a little crushed on these, these 8-bit bricks, you can actually uh, have a little, do I say the brand name out loud? <laughs> design. I just thought it was a fun idea to have something like this too. Alright, this is not what you're supposed to use the bootleg buddy for, however, I haven't found the other thing. And it just actually wants to come out pretty easily, which is nice, because that's what you want. Low maintenance, there we go. This is broken as far as I know. I'll put it also over there. Cool. Last, at least let it on top of a bag over there. <laughs> the, the, <coughs> the garbage bag I was going to throw out. So, so now that this is here, I have to place this other one. This is the one from Double Dribble. And I'll put it right here, right in here, without having to really manipulate it or move it or bend it or anything like that. It's like one of the pins got a little wonky when I was popping it out there. But they even have an EEPROM straightener that really helps in a time like this. And I have one of those too. It's just in the closet though. But I don't mind just doing it the old fashioned way and just kind of rolling it to a certain point. There we go, it's in there. It's in there, it's facing the right direction as it should. And now I'm going to solder this into place and hopefully it works. We'd love to get a Mega Man 6 working. I do not need this for now. I will move you somewhere else safe. Got my hot soldering iron. Got a whole spool full of solder here. And I'm just going to touch up each pin so it kind of fuses, if you will. And um, this is the boring part. You don't need to see this. But I will show you what it looks like afterwards so you can see what you're looking at here. So, and you're probably like, no, 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 show it. Show the thing. Show the thing. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to move the camera. Efficiently lazy I am. So right now it looks like that. You can see what I'm talking about. But the solder needs to be around there like here's here like this because uh, that way the pin's information will transfer from the solder to the pin to the point on the board so it knows what it's doing and where it's going. Unlike me, where I don't have a clue what I'm doing or where I'm going. However, here is the after. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pop it in here. Okay. But it does not look the same because we swapped it out. It was the CHR RAM. Fortunately, it was CHR RAM. Fortunately, it was CHR RAM.
And that's a good looking Mega Man 6 on a CRT. Thank you so much for watching. Always love doing these and always more coming up. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you real soon. Play me some Mega Man 6. Hell yeah.